now and take into what we know is we first start off by creating a root window. And this will be our root window here. A root window is a container. It's an organizational structure. There are other organizational structures that contain things. One of them is a frame. A frame also is an organizational structure. So I'm going to draw a frame over here. This is frame one. And over here, here's another frame. This guy's name is frame two. And then we have a button. Well, what's a button? A button is a widget. So let's draw a button. And I draw a button right here. I'll put a B on it. There we go. Now this button is a child of this guy over here, F2, frame number 2. So frame 2 is the parent of this button child. But frame 2 itself is a child of its container, which is the root. The root window. Now, here's your root window. Over here, you've got, let's say, some widgets. You've got to put those widgets inside the root window. Well, T. Kinter aids you in accomplishing that task, and it does so by giving you three, count them, three geometry managers. What are the names of those managers, you ask? Good question. They are Pack, Grid, and Place. The Pack, Grid, and Place Geometry Managers. Now we've already seen the Pack Geometry Manager in action. Over the course of the next few videos, you're going to see the Grid Geometry Manager and the Place Geometry Manager in action. Well, basically, what does the Pack Manager do? The Pack Manager will take let me draw a widget here. I'll take the edge of this widget here, and it'll pack it up against the edge of a container. That's what he does. He takes the, the edge of a widget, and he packs it up against the edge of a container. Well, well, what about the grid geometry manager? What does he do? Well, the grid geometry manager divides the container up into a table. What kind of a table? A two-dimensional table. And what it'll do is it'll take a widget and it'll put it into the grid in a target row and column that you specify. Like here. 
This would be row 0, row 1, row 2, column 0, column 1, column 2. This would be 2, 2. And finally, you have the Place Geometry Manager. Place Geometry Manager allows you to place a widget at a specific location by specifying the X and Y coordinate. And this has been a general description of the tools we'll be using now. And this is George Bull. Thanks so much for listening. If you liked the video, please rate it by clicking on the like button below. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.